Kylie Jenner finds out that Kanye West got the Kardashians banned from the Met Gala. Apparently rumors about the Kardashian-Jenner clan being dropped from the Met Gala guest list are circulating on the internet. This speculation is getting more and more attention as we approach the annual ball which is the most awaited by many celebrities and fans alike. We know that this is one of the most prestigious events that people from various industries look forward to being invited to. Well, people, including Anna Wintour, have forgotten about this family as the rumors about them being banned from the Met Ball still circulate. In fact, if you really think about it, the family seems to be failing more and more each day as they keep getting involved in more and more controversy and trouble. And people already have different theories as to why they think the clan is no longer being invited to the upcoming Met Gala. Some said that it was because of the troubles that had dragged their family name. They got a bad reputation and people no longer tolerate their problematic behavior. It seems they are always out involving themselves in some trouble. Moreover, if earlier people were entertained about them, now they no longer enjoy their private messes. Everyone is very ignorant of what happened at the Astroworld Festival. It was a major incident that people all over the world kept talking about. We know that Kylie was there and enjoyed the show with her daughter. Stormy pays no heed to the struggles of those around them. People are fed up with how they behave and deal with the problem. Even though Kylie spoke about the tragedy in her Instagram story, people think that they still lack regrets about what happened. The same night it happened, Kris Jenner was also celebrating her birthday and people started looking for Kendall because she wasn't at the celebration. They even tried to make up a story about why Kendall wasn't there at Kris' birthday. They said that he was in Miami with Haley and a few other friends. My goodness, the things they are willing to do just to cover up their irresponsibility. Later, people dragged them even to go that far they had to lie just to make sure that Kendall wouldn't fall for Kylie from the hate she received because of the incident. Later, people became angry because how could they possibly think that they would get away unharmed as videos of Kendall present at the Astroworld Festival also started circulating online. Did they really think that they could hide what happened? I mean they should apologize and properly handle what happened. But instead of being mature and logical, all they do is try to cover their tracks with more lies. Another reason why the clan may have been banned from the gala is because of what happened to Marilyn Monroe's controversial dress when Kim Kardashians decided to wear a little dress that she ended up ruining this iconic dress. Most of them are even known not to follow the theme of an event whenever there is one they are used to doing what they want, even if it's off topic as long as they are in the spotlight and they suit each other nothing else matters. Well many have also followed what happened to Kanye and Kim relationship. And it looks like Kylie is focused on Kanye as Kanye is apparently one of the reasons clan will most likely be banned from the long-awaited event. Kanye on the other hand is also ready to drag this family down after everything he went through with the Kim family when Kim files for divorce in 2021. It gave rise to rumors and people were dying to know about what could happen if they ended up in divorce. Their treatment of each other is much better now compared to how they were when the divorce was filed. Obviously, Kanye tried to get Kim to stay and begged her to keep their marriage together, but Kim must have had enough and couldn't take what was happening to them anymore. Even though they had split, Kanye still helped Kim get the tape from Ray J. But Kanye must still have a bad feeling about how they ended as he constantly called Kim and she started small fights with him a lot. She has said many things against Kim and has even said that she is a bad mother to her children. According to Kanye, Kim doesn't let Kanye talk about their kids' schooling. He basically doesn't have a voice about their kids, which makes him angry and call Kim a lot of things. He also didn't let Kim's new love interest slide. He then criticized Kim for dating Pete Davidson. But no matter how hard he tried to say a lot of bad things about Kim, he still couldn't stop himself from asking her to be with him again. Remember when he went the extra mile to send Kim a truckload of roses for Valentine's Day. But no matter what she does and says, the divorce has been finalized and is strangely peaceful considering all the things that happened between them during the divorce proceedings. In the end, Kanye agreed to pay Kim $200,000 monthly in child support. Not only that, 
Kim was also honored to have full ownership of their home. But Kanye was keeping a low profile and not bashing Kim because she was reportedly actually involved in a new relationship. Eventually tied the knot with Bianca Sensori. Well, just when people thought that Kanye was finally done with Kim and finally left her alone, here are the rumors about him plotting behind the cameras. He has been with Kim for a very long time and he knows the Kardashian-Jenner clan so well that he knows what will affect them. He definitely has a lot of dirt on them and they better watch out because Kanye isn't done with his shade on them yet. He had only stopped and rested, but that didn't mean that they were already free of him. He no longer speaks ill of her on camera, but there is a theory that he may have been behind the decision to cut family, specifically Kim, from the Met Gala guest list. Come on, it's common knowledge that the Car Jenners are not only obsessed with fame, but would go crazy if they were banned from the Met Gala. As I've mentioned, it will be a way to wake them up to the fact that they are no longer as popular and talked about as they used to be. It's no secret that Kanye played a huge role in Kim's fame as well as that of her family. You have a lot of connections especially in the fashion industry, even before he is related to family. Kanye even advised Kim to tidy up everything in her wardrobe beforehand because according to her, her fashion is not trendy enough. Do you think the Car Jenners would have enjoyed all the connections they have now if it weren't for Kanye? I'd love to know what you think so comment below. Kim was also only able to attend her first Met Gala because Kanye let her in. Her look that night stood out not because of how fashionable it was, but because she looked out of place. She downplayed it saying she was just a plus to Kanye back then and she was pretty nervous too. Well, obviously after they split, Kanye was no longer styling Kim. But because Kim has learned so much over the years with Kanye and the exposure she has received from the fashion world, even after the divorce, she is still fashionable. But not fashionable enough to have a big impact in the industry. On top of that, she also has a team of stylists and glam now, so it's impossible to see she doesn't look her best. But she definitely still thinks about Kanye from time to time, especially when she has to dress up for big events. After Kanye walked out of their life, the family's luster dwindled and there weren't as many events and people interested in them as they used to be. In the past two years, it's been very apparent that the Car Jenners haven't shown at the Met Gala anymore. People talk about them now not to praise them but because they are slowly losing their supporters. The family's 2022 Met Gala appearance was a disaster as many people criticized their performance. They were questioned and doubted and many said they didn't belong there either. Remember when Kim revealed that she had to lose 16 pounds just so she could wear a Marilyn Monroe gown? She really pushed to wear it and even though she managed to finish the event in that tight and uncomfortable dress. Looks like they're in big trouble without Kanye. They would be in a much bigger mess if Kanye did get them out of the upcoming Met Gala. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to see other videos here.